Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to our no death less play Redemption this too. We don't get this far anyway, we're gonna go do some missions for uh Dutch here and Rhodes. Um actually I'm thinking I'm gonna probably buy me a newspaper too. Oh shit, it's the Confederate veteran of their artillery. How you doing old timer? Hey, it's good to see you again, Fred. How you keeping? Uh, <laughs> miserable. Because of the leg? Ah, oh, no, I'm used to the leg. I mean, I've been without it a whole lot longer than I was with it. <laughs> Probably was like a 12-year-old kid who yeah. like blown off at Boulder Blade. Yeah, a bunch of nasty, miserable peasants I gotta share this place with. I don't doubt Why don't you leave? Leave? Well, I live here. They're my nasty, miserable people. That's the way you hear your hometown, I guess. If I forgot to hate them, I wouldn't know what day it was. It's Thursday. You. Oh. Man, you ought to get out it's of what, here and what stop it? coming back. It's about 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time here. Hi, folks. Hi, here we go on the old timer. I do like the way Arthur's... Blood in the streets of Valentine. Read all about it. What? Do you like an issue? God. Okay. Let me read this shit. Blood in the streets of Valentine. I'm running out, Rhodes. Get him right here. Oh shit. Nothing good. There's the count. Beautiful looking horse. Fellow's got old McClellan's saddle on old brown jack. Okay there. What do you want? Hey, watch your tone, boy. Let's go of see course, old. Of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. How you boy doing, partner? Boy is a killer. Yeah, I don't know. But not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sheriff. Gray. How are you doing, sir? Yep, he's not drunk as a skunk and twice as smelly. We did. Well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. <laughs> and no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by losing your employment like that. But still. Here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Oh. Excuse me a moment. The hell is that thing on his damn hip? Shit. <laughs> I told you we was moving up in this world. Yeah, by moving Never up, I think, uh... You have finally lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good yeah, honest no. thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. <laughs> now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And okay. the state a whole lot of income. So we're going to get this for moonshine. See, you can never get rid of alcohol in America. It's like problem, guns. Sir. People will riot. At all. You are in safe hands now. You're quite annoying. And people waste quite time with fucking annoying. Liquor never dulled the good man's senses. No, just dulled the poor Arthur, man's senses. The deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. All right, Archibald. Archibald. How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most can? towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, good point. I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. And your chain of command can go shove it up your ass. Is, 
This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. All right, boy. Hey, Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your mm -hmm. behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded nope. up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. And by that he means they got rid of enslaving other black people and the Asians and the Indians and the Mexicans and the Catholics. I don't really like Catholics much, so they're kind of pedophiliacs. Maybe the priests. Never trust a Catholic. Nor a midget. Not to mention the fact that Smith or Robbie Wine has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. Thoroughbred horses. Speaking of wit, which no, nope, no, nope, quick. Okay, well, please, you're good. The rumor, Shit. The I mean, the I think, think the Kentucky the Derby's, the Derby's on this weekend. From them. Kentucky uh, Derby. So long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough oh. being rich. <laughs> so I imagine. So I imagine is right. That bed rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so too. <laughs> Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Damn, Bill. Whoa. What the Whoa. hell? Dutch doesn't even have a damn saddle on his horse. What the See fuck? That? <sighs> More Raiders. These damn flies. I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. Come on, mister. Keep your eyes open. Shit. Fucking name the Morn Raiders. This must have happened recently. Hmm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. I think that's his eyeball. This is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Lemoyne yeah, Raiders. I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Let's find some state official. Okay, we should get going. All right, I'll send boy. someone over All here right. later to clean this up. Yeah, that's a bit of work them boys did. Damn strange place. Damn strange. Let's get on, get on. I want to have a look at these papers. I mean, the damn rain's in. I'll direct you. I know where the hell I'm going. There's a damn mini map. Yeah. Okay. Frederick Mitchell, Lamont State Legislator. Poor fella. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. That's because the Lamont Raiders are ex Confederate militia who think. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Damn. Go right at the crossroads. Yep, not the nicest fellas in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Oh, They're right again here. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. The drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. Damn. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Yeah, so I get it. A bunch of fucking, fucking ex-Southern supporters, Confederate su sympathizers, who are ingrained with lost calls like the rest of this damn fucking state in the game. Alright, Archie Bode. 
take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. That's the next damn confederate, so. I was a nice looking Craig Wilkinson bill. This place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest, our excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in '78. Oh, hell of this. Oh, well, the way I see actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. I don't know. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? Uh, we'll go right. Take the right. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea. Ooh. Ooh. Remember okay. what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. <laughs> Hold on. Wait for them to move. Get the rider, don't round him up later. Get the other one. Uh, I'm about to get him, I'm about to fucking get him. Uh, Alright. Alright, partner, I'm about to introduce you to the great Justice Tear of Le Mans. She's an old girl, but Clarice, go lay down. Go lay down. Sorry, go lay down. Yeah, I'm gonna. Clarice, it's alright. Hey. Come in online, you can uh, um, actually come over and get some moonshine. I'd like to mention that. Mm -hmm. I may have just fuck. Get a hat. A hat. Oh shit. Oh, holy fuck. Oh shit, that ain't good. Clear them 
Oh, there we go. Got the forge cap. There we go. Gut shots always do the trick. What in God's name was that? I don't see any more. Do you? No. Nope. Let's find Dutch and get out of here. All right, boy. All right, all right. Calm your shit, Billy boy. Loot some of these bodies out there. Let's go before any more show up. Come and Bill Williamson or Marion, as your name so requires. Um, yeah, we changed the name from Marion to Bill because Marion is a feminine name. It's quite annoying. All right, I'll see you over there. All right. Well, let me get these bodies loaded. Shit. All right. saying yeah there's like other military you can get you get a military slouch hat or some shit and you get the hardy union hardy hat so anyway well done and yeah i know dutch i know can i stash this somewhere near camp box yes show it to hosea i'm sure he can find a use for it bit of trouble back there arthur ain't there always from what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. Yep. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go! Come on, we'll beat this damn Arabian. You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. Come on, Dutch. Talk all that shit for an old fat man, don't you? <laughs> Tell you what, it's a catchy tune. You okay, boy? Got that on my ass. There's like random events in uh, single player where you can like race other NPCs. It's kind of fun. Uh, and actually, one of them in my other save I did, and uh, but dude said, "Fuck this!" He just pulled out a revolver, shot his horse dead because the horse kept losing to us three times. Shot my horse on accident, killed it. Talk about collateral damage. Interesting. I mean, it's interesting to say, but not special. <laughs> oh shit. Sorry about my dogs barking in the background. My dog is a stupid son of a bitch that doesn't know the person he's been living with for two fucking years. That's Bubble here and barking at Bubbles. He's a he's very, very stupid. Stupid fucking dog. 
A very stupid dog, but I love him regardless. Anyway, we just beat Dutch. I never knew you were quite so good at running away, Arthur. I never knew okay. age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When There's you get to my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. That is a fact. You will. I have. <laughs> All right. Dutch? That is my damn tent. No, that's right over here. I do need to go to Strawberry though. Mm. Uh, I don't know what we got. Um, you know what? Um, I think that'll be it for this episode. Uh, I feel like I gotta go do some stuff, personal stuff, real quick. So. And at this end this episode here, so I hope you all enjoyed. Anyway, as usual, and we'll see you in game in the next episode. Uh, we're gonna probably gonna do a mission for Pearson. Or maybe do some mission. Anyway, hope you like watching. Thanks for watching. As usual, good luck out there and uh, peace.